you to downtown Memphis on a gorgeous 65 degree day. And what we're calling beyond the box score as the road to the final four winds through Grind City for a big one today in the American Athletic Conference between the Memphis Tigers trying to get their season back on course against the Wichita State Shockers. Hi, everyone. We have been looking forward to this one as we welcome you to Memphis. I'm Spiro Ditas, joined by my good friend Clark Kellogg. And right here in the middle, a lot of hoops heads and basketball junkies who know John Hollinger, NBA senior writer from The Athletic and a former executive with the Grizzlies. We're calling this beyond the box score. A lot of what you'll see and hear looks the same, but we're going to go heavy into your world, analytics. John, you've been at the forefront of advanced metrics for a number of years. You basically invented the PER system, efficiency ratings, for players what stands out what should we be looking forward to most and how is this can really revolutionize the sport yeah it's been amazing to see how it's changed even in the college game and it's amazing to be back here in the 901 by the way let me add that <laughs> uh, but what started as a tool for nba front offices has really become indispensable now for college coaches and programs and it doesn't impact just how they play on the court in the nil era now it's also impacting even how they build their teams in the first place yeah, and I tell you what, I know all of you folks can appreciate a good dish and how oftentimes it requires many ingredients. No different in the world of basketball. We're going to give you a chance to get into the metrics ingredients kitchen here today. Clark, you always have a way of making me hungry. It's like candy. <laughs> These two teams met just under three weeks ago. It was an explosive game of offense won by Memphis, one of the highest scoring games in their history. The next day, they were 10th. John in the AP poll, but since that day, they've been in an absolute free fall. Yeah, four straight losses. The first three, you say, maybe okay, they were close games, two of them were on the road, they were good teams, but then the home loss this week to Rice where the offense just free falled in the first half, that was rough to watch. The one positive has been the play of this kid, David Jones, one of the premier scorers in the country. Yeah, and the talent, you can see, was always there when he was at DePaul and St. John's, and you talk about the analytics, which changed for him this year is the efficiency he's gone from 29 percent to 37 percent from three 44 percent to 52 percent from two and nearly tripled his free throw rate so why have things gone south for penny's tigers maybe the biggest reason has been a massive drop off in their defense remember they lost caleb mills one of their heart and soul players to that knee injury in early january and look at the defensive numbers they have fallen off a cliff clark what about our at&t fast analysis well you leave me right into it if memphis is going to turn this thing around and get out of this tailspin it's got to start defensively they've got to get back to being disruptive disruptive defense leading to turnovers and opportunities in the open court and quinterly and jones will have to be in the middle of it for wichita state we talked about their efficiency from a field goal percentage standpoint thwarted because they don't take care of the ball. They've got to squeeze the orange if they're going to have a chance to be successful today. Clark, this is their offensive star, the guy that they really need to score, Colby Rogers, the, tra the Sienna transfer. Yeah, he's been struggling lately in his last four games, only 11 points a game, but he is a three-level scorer, although at the rim, that number is not great. The mid-range is okay. The three-point shooting is where he's been excelling. They'll need him to get it done at every level today. All right, so with that, the stage is set, Wichita State and the Memphis Tigers. There's Paul Mills, year one for him up in Wichita, trying to get this program back to the mountaintop after back-to-back -back years of missing out on the big dance. Of course, his six-year run at Oral Roberts, which was tremendous. Look at the starters. Penny is going to continue to retweet things. He's clearly, guys, looking for answers. Naquan Tomlin, whom they just got a couple of weeks ago, is going to make his second straight start. Started on Wednesday against Rice. Mid-season transfer coming over from Kansas State, but I want to say that Penny has been hitting the panic button in with his staff, but they have to find answers here, Clark, quickly. And it's going to have to start with the leaders of the team. I mean, the two top scorers are going to have to be more committed at the defensive end, David Jones and Javon Quinterly. Memphis has won seven straight in the series against the Shockers, nine of the last ten in a series that dates back all the way to 1958. But that game on January the 14th, Memphis scoring 112 points, one of the highest scoring games in their franchise history, but boy, it seems like...